What would you do if you found out something you cherished was possessed? Would you try and throw it away? Destroy it? Maybe sell it to some unsuspecting buyer? And how did it become haunted in the first place? Those are the questions we're going to ask as we explore those very objects. Some you might be familiar with, others so obscure that they've been lost to the sands of time until now. I'm your host, Evan O'Hare. Welcome to Haunted Objects. Before you buy that trinket at a garage sale or accept that family inheritance, take a look at these haunted objects and decide for yourself if you believe. Thanks for watching Haunted Objects. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the bell so you can be notified when new episodes of Haunted Objects goes live. Now back to the show. Who doesn't love an Elmo? Me. I heartily believe that all that brawling and hate during the Tickle Me Elmo craze back in the 90s was a curse summoned by this furry red monster. But I have no way of proving my theory. However, this is one documented incident showcasing how demented our little Elmo friend can be. Demented. That's our word of the day. In 2008, a Florida family reported they gave their two-year-old son, James, an Elmo Knows Your Name doll. This particular Elmo could be hooked up to the computer and programmed to learn phrases, as well as the name of its owner. He is cute, he's cuddly, he likes to sing and laugh, but a Bay Area mother says the Elmo doll that she bought for her two-year-old son is now making death threats and she's not laughing. All was well with little James's new toy until the time came to change Elmo's battery. Melissa Bauman, the boy's mother, realized something quite disturbing shortly after swapping out the batteries. With a squeeze of its furry tummy, Elmo would exclaim in a sing-song voice, Kill James! About an hour later, I noticed exactly what it was saying, and my son was repeating exactly what it was saying. Kill James! Distraught, Melissa Bauman tried swapping out the batteries again and again, but it only worsened things as the demented doll now began repeating, kill James, over and over and over again, and its own free will. Then, to Melissa Bauman's horror, little James himself started to recite, kill James. Melissa Bauman desperately tried keeping the demented Elmo doll away from her son. And my son was repeating exactly what it was saying. Kill James? But it being his favorite toy, a determined James kept scaling up the counters in closets to get it. Fisher Price stated they investigated the issue and supposedly gave the Baumans a voucher for a new Elmo. And this is his absolute favorite toy, so we've been going through a lot of hassle because <laughs> he's trying to climb up the counter and up the closets to get it. Did Melissa Bauman happen upon an Elmo doll for her son that was possessed by a demented spirit? Perhaps this specific little red demon was manufactured in the depths of hell itself. Or could it have been just a demented prank by one of the Fisher Price employees at its manufacturing plant? I'll keep my own opinion to myself. Whether the cursed objects shown this evening are of myth, urban legend, or fantastical paranormal occurrences is for you to decide. I hope I haven't left you eyeballing your shelves and contemplating your latest thrift shop purchase. But if I did, get in touch. Tell us about your possessed possession. And maybe we'll feature it right here on Haunted Objects. Thank you for listening to Haunted Objects, brought to you by Resurrection Films, hosted by Evan O'Hare, and produced by Shawnee Elise Cook, directed and edited by Jason D. Morris, written by Carly Street, Mark Francisco, and Jason D. Morris, co-produced by Troy L. Foreman and Jason Hewlett, 
Executive produced by Resurrection Films and Berg Garabedian. Haunted Objects was originally aired on the Paranormal Network for Joe Blow Media Inc. <laughs>